Hello everyone. Today I intend to discuss some important confusables and we'll take three pairs of confusables. And especially when you write some expression as one word or two words. Right? So the first is every day as one word and every day as two words. Now they are widely different. When you say every day as one word, it is an adjective. For example, you say that's an everyday problem. So problem is a noun and before that you are using the word every day. It is an adjective. And when you say every day as two words, there every functions as an adjective and day is a noun. For example, you can say he comes here every day. I read books every day. So here it is like each day. You are emphasizing each day. Whereas here this is an adjective. That is an everyday issue. Second pair is maybe as one word and may be as two words. Now when you take maybe as one word, it is an adverb. That means you already have a sentence for example, he will come. He will come here tomorrow. That is a normal sentence. And you want to add the meaning of perhaps to that sentence. Then you can write maybe at the beginning. Maybe he will come tomorrow. Maybe he will pass the test. So maybe is an adverb as, a, as one word. And when you write it as two words, then first may is a modal auxiliary. It is a modal verb. And then be is a main verb here. For example, he may be late. Right? Here it is like this be as a main verb. In place of that, you can take other verbs also. He may come late. Right? So here may is a modal verb and be is the main verb. The third pair sometime and some time. Sometime as one word is an adverb. Visit us sometime. So when you say somebody like that, you are telling that person to visit you at a time which is not specified or which is not certain. Right? And when you say some and time as two words, you are emphasizing some as a period of time. Please spend some time with us. So there some is an adjective. I hope this information helps you. If you want more such videos, please visit our website www.fluentlingua.com. You might like to subscribe to our YouTube channel Fluent Lingua. Thank you very much.